it is true that there are times god can be silent as far as revealing his will over your life and destiny is concerned i was led of the spirit to teach you this because i believe that there are many people who are in the season of the silence of god there is something called the season of the silence of god you pray you fast you do everything and it looks like you are not hearing him let me tell you what that means every time god is silent it means three things number one it means he is working on you that is the first thing every time god is silent and he withholds revealing his will to you it can mean number one that you as the vessel that will be used to do his will there is a work that he's doing in you and revealing his will to you will be a waste in that state and so his silence means that you can you should continue the training of the building until he makes you the vessel that is able to do that will you want him to reveal please listen very carefully god is speaking to someone right now god why have you been silent on me my family my destiny every time god is silent number one discern that his silence is a message that i am making the vessel who i will use to achieve my will look up please god was silent on jesus for 30 years read your bible you don't hear jesus communicating with god as a small child and yet he was god from the time god spoke around his birth you don't hear any discussion again he went to pray he went to learn for 30 years we don't hear the voice of god over jesus's issue again every time god is silent focus on you not him he is doing something in that vessel jesus was in the temple at age 12 because as powerful as jesus is even though he was god incarnate at that state he would not be able to fulfill the will of god he needed to learn he needed to grow luke chapter 2 and verse 52 your bible says in those moments of silence jesus increased in wisdom he increased in stature he increased in favor with god and man don't waste your moments of silence when god is silent rather than lamenting in impatience focus on allowing him build you lord i know that you have not spoken concerning this and that and that it means that there is something the vessel that you want to use for that task has not yet become the fashion that necessitates the revelation of your will is someone learning tonight L listen what you are learning tonight you are going to use it to help so many people for some of you this message now you will call your loved ones and say hey i came for koinonia i found the key i found the key while you have prayed and submitted your prayer here at miracle service prayer after prayer vigil after vigil most people do not focus on god making them they just focus on god revealing his will every time god reveals his will there is a version that will fulfill that will and if you have not become that version he will withhold his speakings and focus on your training powerful another example i use jesus let me give you one more <laughs> when joseph had a dream that was the end of it there was nothing else he saw or had again he just had a dream of his destiny the sun the moon 11 stars when joseph entered the pit i'm sure he would say god give me explain to me why a righteous man will be inside the pit by my own brothers silence when they were selling him to go to egypt silence but was he ever out of the will of god please talk to me even in your confusion god is still leading you this is a powerful message tonight as confused as you may think you are god is still leading you let me tell you how god leads look at me i want to teach you something powerful if god's desire is for you to go this way and enter a door please watch me if god's desire is for you to go left and enter the door to your destiny 
and in all honesty and sincerity of heart believing him you move right he will remove the door there and bring it here to make sure you do not miss his will that is how determined god is believe this about god most of you don't know how powerful god is have you read the scripture that says all things work together not for everybody to them that love the lord so anytime you don't understand your life just ask do i love the lord if your love is still in place find rest <laughs> trouble only starts when the challenge is told away your love then you are in trouble all things Hmm. interpreting the silence of God every time God is silent number one it means he's walking on the vessel Joseph look at the tragedies that follow Joseph's life from the well Joseph would get up they sold him in prison and he started serving he became the head of the prisoners just when he was about to rest Potiphar's wife came with her own trouble are we together now and then oh dear look at what happened to joseph that he was in the prison there and he was holding the cloth of potiphar's wife how could you deny he was holding the cloth of potiphar's wife how would he ever explain to them next stage it went to the prison and he was there in the prison do you know he had legitimate grounds to be offended how in the world did i get here simply because of the dream god is is is, is that is not worth it please carry it and give somebody that's what somebody wants to do here now to say lord i am tired of this thing beware when god appears to you and say you are highly favored because sometimes what follows that statement is controversy read your bible he said you are highly favored you thought that immediately after that you will see people who will come together with gifts and say mary you mean god appeared to you the favor of god can be very controversial and he calls it favor how do you explain that you are pregnant and yet you claim you are a virgin and instead of God to now speak and defend you he now keeps quiet learn how to live in the silence of God my dear people Joseph went to the prison and he stayed there even in his confusion and pain he was in the will of God and one day watch this he saw two people and he interpreted their dreams and he said please when you go to pharaoh he didn't say tell him to make me king uh -uh. he said all i want is to get out of this place please tell pharaoh i'm innocent and the man got there guess what happened he forgot him two years if you are joseph and you come out and become prime minister who is the first person you are going to deal with you will first deal with the wine presser followed by Potiphar's wife when he became king it was unnecessary when when the will of God is manifest in your life there are battles that become unnecessary you have won are you learning this now so after two years in patience the voice of God was about to come let me tell you even when you enter the season of his voice you will not know you are that close it will be one morning and then the king sent for fair for joseph just like somebody came for koinonia here tonight you don't know that the the, the voice of his majesty after 10 years after 15 years after 20 years after five years after two months finally his majesty is about to speak sit down let me tell you how God speaks when God is speaking to end your seasons he does not come as a still small voice read your Bible mm -mm. when it has to do with bringing your season to an end he comes in majesty he will do things that will let them it will be impossible to doubt that he's the one that came hallelujah and on that morning 
Joseph got up in the morning how are you dear prisoners how are you Joseph God bless you ah it's been a long time two years plus we don't know how long he stayed in the prison we know that the two years was from the time the one presser left so X number of years plus two years he didn't know that that morning he'll be prime minister the gate the jailer did not know he was going to open the gate for his boss hear me while you are praying and trusting God Lord if you will only give me a job of 200,000 I will be grateful the day the voice of God comes to honor you for being patient through the season of silence somebody will call you and say I'm leaving Nigeria I've been looking for someone to head my company can you come and do it for me and you will think it's a lie that when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that three please sit down the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon I'm sure his heart was beating when he came to stand because they didn't tell him why they asked him to come out if a king should send for you from prison you are either going to go back or you they will execute you and I can imagine him shaking and standing before the king your majesty and the king said well I slept and I had a dream and they say you can interpret dreams he said well it is not within my power God will give Pharaoh an answer of peace this is what you saw Pharaoh this is what you saw so what is the solution gather 20% of all of this and save for seven years and when he finished Pharaoh said since God revealed it to you who else in Egypt is able to do this I am Pharaoh and it is only in the throne that you will be second to me you become the administrator right away look up there are many things he would have done when he was in prison when he was in prison he probably would have been gathering some money to build his own house and make meaning of his life everything he would have done if you were not in the prison came to him in one day read your Bible a wife came in he didn't need to look for a wife Potiphera the wife of the priest the priest of on his daughter they gave him free they changed his name they put royal robe everything in one day can I tell you while you are waiting don't be regretting what you would have been doing it is already in the plan the compensation is in the plan believe me when I tell you this Shana Malakatosiata. the compensation has already been built hear me I know oh Hannah that you've been waiting a long time for a child but be patient the child that is coming is not a normal child he is the one who will anoint all the kings of Israel so be patient hear me do you know why patience is powerful patience is powerful because it can help you to be able to gather together the kind of compassion you need through your pain so that you will sustain certain results when they come when certain destiny things come too easy there is no memory bank of pain you will be careless over many great things but when you you think Joseph had the time to be careless after spending X plus two years in the prison the memory of his pain in the prison will not make him take his job lightly that's why some of us press into this thing of God because we know where he brought us from sit down let's wrap up when God is silent number one it means he's working on you the vessel number two when God is silent what does that mean it means he is working on other factors needed to help you do his will look up please the will of God does not only depend on your obedience the will of God depends on the synergy of many other people and many other factors and sometimes when God leaves you in his silence is because he's at the other end of your destiny rearranging the people and the conditions that must make you to walk in purpose let me show you one scripture very quickly Luke chapter 1 from verse 39 is God helping someone tonight 
Luke chapter 1 from verse 39. This is the story of Mary and Elizabeth. If Elizabeth had a child before that time, there would be no occasion that would bring two of them together. And Mary arose in those days. The moment, watch this now. The moment Mary finished her interaction with the angels, she found out that her stomach started protruding. She was afraid because no one else could relate with her situation. But she remembered there was Elizabeth, a woman who has also gone through that season. And so as soon as she went to meet her, do you know that one of the major reasons why Elizabeth was delayed was so that the timing of Jesus and John the Baptist, imagine if she gave birth and John did everything, roam around and died. Do you know how frustrating John would have it would have been for John to be in the wilderness all the while Jesus was growing John was also in the wilderness it was the moment he started his ministry that was when Jesus was also ready to be baptized if John were born earlier than that time John would not be able to have the patience to wait until Jesus grows imagine John as an adult and then Jesus will start growing how old will he be when Jesus will be 30 so for that sake Elizabeth had to wait there are times that the silence of God means he's putting other things in place that will need to the bone that will be joined to bone to make sense of your destiny and purpose hallelujah are you hearing what I'm saying now yes let's finish up 39 uh-huh 40 now and entered into the house of Zechariah and saluted Elizabeth verse 41 and it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary the babe leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost I thought God was silent so the Holy Ghost could still speak through Elizabeth why didn't he speak for that long I thought Elizabeth had backslidden that she would not hear the voice of God again and the moment she met with Mary the Holy Ghost came again and she began to speak thou art blessed among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb uh -huh. next verse and whence is this to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me are you seeing prophecy who told Elizabeth that this young lady was carrying his Lord her Lord 44 and lo as soon as the voice of my salutation sounded in my ears the babe leaped in womb for joy destiny had connected can I tell you this for some of you the reason why God is delaying you like this is because the person in the blueprint of your destiny to connect you the person just got born again and that's why God is anointing people like us to hurry up with the training of that person so that the person will rise to a position where that destiny connection can happen are you getting what I'm saying now imagine Boaz roaming around and asking I am a responsible man will I not get a good wife to marry whereas something was happening at the back end Ruth and Naomi God was preparing the great grandmother of Jesus and unknown to the man he would be a great grandfather of Jesus can I tell you this every time you don't understand God give thanks and know that he's doing something preparing a table fixing things that you will never never need to have any trouble about again in your life For many years in Zaria again, we're looking for land for ministry. No ministry will stay that long without at least having a property to start building and all of that. And we looked around for land, we looked around for land. I prayed and prayed and fasted. I said, Lord, there has to be land in Zaria here for us. Every time you call people, you anoint them, there has to be. I mean, there should be something. I prayed and prayed and, but then when I learned this, I knew that something was happening and I kept quiet one day one thing led to the other and then I got I, I slept and I had a dream and I saw directly opposite the teaching hospital 
in Zaria I saw myself standing there and there was an empty land there and the Lord told me this is true that one day this will be the place that you will buy they had done an excavation there to fix the road and so because he was depressed I'm not sure most people could afford buying it and all of that and that was where God kept that land to get that much that size of a land in Zaria is, is, is quite a big 36 plots and right there God kept it I'm sure the cold that was tied will be wondering what am I doing here my colleagues are moving around why am I being tied here like this not knowing that it was being tied there even the owner did not have he said the cold that no man had ridden on that means when the owner bought it he just felt something was leading him to tie it I'm sure the cold to say who did I offend I've been here for a long time not knowing that you have the privilege to be the one to write Jesus the triumphant entry but when the time came Jesus himself said now that I have come all things are ready go and lose that cold and if any man asks you why are you now losing what you tied before tell them the master for some of you God tied you because of something great he stopped you when other people were going forward he kept you and now he's about to reveal you like a trophy because all things are ready is someone learning number three when God is silent what does that mean the third thing that happens when God is silent is that it is possible that he is fighting unseen battles and averting certain dangers that may befall you on your way to executing his will he is fighting unseen battles and averting certain dangers that the devil is already programming ahead of you while you are up and doing as far as his will is concerned this is very powerful the third reason why God can be silent as far as revealing his will is concerned is that he can be at the other side fighting battles unseen battles look up please when Satan tries to stop your destiny and he cannot stop it when he knows that it is sure you are moving the path of destiny the next thing he does is to begin to program all kinds of woes on your path to actualizing destiny God seeing that can suspend that which is his will for your life and then deal with the obstacles you will be waiting for in future and then the moment that is done he will release you to go one scripture Matthew chapter 2 and verse 20 the Bible says when Jesus was born Herod was angry the spirit of the Antichrist was moving through Herod to make sure that they would kill all the children and the angel told um, Joseph and Mary he said run with this child and go and hide him now do you know they hid Jesus there and there was no manifestation of angel again or the voice of the spirit silence they just went remember where they ran to was a temporary place when do we return back to live our normal lives silence verse 20 says the angel now appeared and said arise and now take the young child and his mother and go back into the land of Israel why for they are dead which sought the young child's life now you can go back it is over all those who would have attacked him and frustrated the ministry all the curses and the yokes that would have been waiting for you while God is suspending the revelation of his will he's making sure that all those things are dealt with when the road is clear he says now you can go the path is clear before you most believers are not matured enough I hope that what you have learned tonight has helped you so that you can give God praise even when it does not make sense and with this understanding you can comfort many others the silence of God is an advantage arise take your business now arise take your family now arise take your child we're about to pray but let me share